Okay, rolling. You're all set. Have fun. Oh, we're going? Yeah. Yep. Live. Already? This is one of them video cameras. Yeah. And this is Topic Town. Ta-da! Where you and I discuss topics of our choosing. We don't discuss towns. We haven't yet, anyway. No, the, 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 this is the town of topics. It's populated yeah. by the topics we talk about. Maybe we should isn't do that it. The, isn't that the, the metaphor we're creating? I guess so, but maybe we should talk about t towns at one, at one time. At I least. guess they could be a topic. Someday. But today, what are we talking about, Matt? We're going to talk about artificial neural networks. Hey, that goes along with our recent theme on the good stuff, the robots, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, because, well, uh, I've learned about this because of the mainly the headlines about this thing that Google did. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it's about androids dreaming and like, you know, like this uh, Guardian uh, mm -hmm. article says, yes, androids do dream of electric sheep. Ah, the, they are referencing the Philip K. Dick novel yeah. that the movie Blade Runner is based on. Yes. Which but is a good it, book. It, it, there it's a good book. A, yeah, very good book, very good movie. Mm -hmm. But it, there, aren't, there aren't any androids in this, in this article. What? I was shocked to find out. Uh, what there is, though, is... That, is wait, are you saying that's clickbait? Yes. Hmm. Yes. This article is... Wait, a, a headline that is not accurately representative of what's in it? In it? That's no. a different topic. Although, anyway. Although, I guess maybe there, it's... You know, you could take a step further, and maybe this is what the brain of an Android would be like, this artificial neural mm -hmm. network that Google has set up. And That's basically true. what it is, is a, um, what they call an image recognition neural network. And this is what they use to, um, to do, like, image searches or speech recognition. They've got this, basically, like, program, this neural network mm -hmm. of programs or computers. And... They, they they teach them to identify features. Why do they, why do they call it a neural network? Just because because it, it actually, it's like, it's, um, it's, it's, they work sort of like our neurons do. Mm -hmm. They work together, they're, they're connected somehow. I think that's, they're, they're meant to act like a brain, kind of. Okay. Interesting. Um, and so you can teach these networks to identify features in images, like, you know, buildings or animals or, you know, just like, it's, if you want to, you want to search for something, an object in a photograph, these neural networks uh, are meant to do that. So recognize images? Yeah. So like, mm. or, you know, objects in an image. Okay. Uh, so like, but they, they, I guess they've had some trouble. They don't really know why some work and some don't. Mm -hmm. So they set up this, uh, test to see how their, uh, neural network is working. Mm -hmm. Um, and it created some interesting pictures. And so what they did, uh, is they, um, they were creating, they, they created these pictures. Mm -hmm. Some of them look pretty crazy, and I'll show them to you in a second. We'll probably show them up on the screen here. Okay. But they, they created these pictures by feeding a picture into the neural network and asking it to recognize a feature of it and modify the picture to emphasize the feature it recognizes. Okay. That modified picture is then feed, fed back into the network, which is again tasked to recognize the features and emphasize them and so on. Eventually, it's like a feedback loop, and it modifies the picture beyond all recognition um, and it could be pretty crazy. Like, well, what, what, what's the point of that test? What are they because they want to see what the, how the neural, how well the neural re network is recognizing that aspect of the image. So they're okay. like, once you have it like re degraded it. over time through. Yeah. Or through. You'll, it'll, it'll be emphasizing the thing it's looking for. So like mm -hmm. the image will get warped into mm -hmm. the, what it's, what it's recognizing. Okay. So you can like see how it's working and it, it makes more sense because you know, when they, they did some of these with like just random noise and, mm -hmm. and they had the, the the neural network look at random noise and out of that noise find find a certain object and then mm -hmm. so like it was finding objects that weren't there oh, <laughs> in, in noise whoa uh, and often in in the, these, these pictures like this one look at this one <laughs> oh. it was looks like it was tasked to find like some animal faces in this <laughs> painting of a guy on a horse <laughs> and it's like there's animal faces all over the it's place like an alien oh my god yeah that's awesome <laughs> he's got like a like a horse hand yeah. and then like a horse elbow yeah or whatever and he's got like is. a dog face dog, that, yeah. alien dog face <laughs> yeah. and then there's a dog well the dog that was probably there in the original image. i don't know i don't think that dog was there that one yeah the one in the middle yeah no, no. i don't i think it's just supposed to be a saddle or something oh wow i don't know what the the the, re, the uh, that's really disturbing oh uh, yeah uh, having lots of faces in places where they shouldn't be is really disturbing yeah if you ever want to disturb somebody put faces places and um here's one with the random yeah. noise yeah. So like they had it like look for yeah. bananas. 
Yeah. And so this is what it was before, and then it like found bananas, and it was like this weird like. <laughs> it just made bananas. Yeah. It believed there were bananas there. It was, so. it was trying so hard to find bananas. Yeah. And um, something that was really interesting is that like oh this is a cool picture. It was Whoa. like looking for buildings in uh, in a feature list. I image. want that in my, on my wall. Yeah, that that's looks an like awesome. that. Yeah, that, that, uh, could, that could go up that, in my that could go up in my college dorm. What's the uh, uh, the Escher? Is it or no no the no is that, is that the the scream that that painting? oh um wait who did the scream. That was that wasn't Escher. That was no, uh, I don't know. You, you know, put it in the comments. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, oh, and this one's did, really funny. What did Escher do? He did like the guys walking on the upside down stairs. And, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And right. a lot of like optical illusion type stuff. Yeah, that's right. Um, but this one's funny. They had it like in random noise find uh, a uh, dumbbell, mm -hmm. but. Um, this is sort of what the test was for, and, and when it was making the dumbbell, it would put in, it connect an arm to the dumbbell every time because it, for some reason the, the the neural network was thinking, oh, a dumbbell, oh uh, yeah, There's, dumbbells always have an arm. They attached. have arms to them. <laughs> yeah. No one just takes a picture of a dumbbell; yeah, they're so, holding it. So you, like, that's one yeah. of the reasons you can see it. Like you can see how the the neural network is is like not recognizing the object correctly. Uh, <laughs> this is a fun game. Yeah. Uh, so there's a bunch of cool pictures, um, and. They, yeah. they they describe this as like oh these are the dreams of the neural network or whatever. It's not. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's a little. It's not really dreaming. It's just. It's it's like any sort of like procedurally generated program. Well, what like it, some... we don't even know what a dream is. We did an episode about sleep. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, maybe this is what androids would dream about. I, I don't think. so. I wouldn't call but... this an. This is this is programs. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a program, and it is but, pretty cool. But it's mainly yeah. just like a really weird way of like it's like. It's like really complex, like Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Procedure. It's you're awesome. Doing. I yeah. want that that blue, gr blue and green the one. The pictures are the very swirly awesome. one. Um, but you could all, but you could you could argue. I'm sure Plot plotting will argue against what I'm about to say. But like, you know, eventually AI or advanced robotics, where it becomes it blurs the line between are they alive or are they are they just machines? Mm -hmm. Like. This is just a bunch of programs working together in a neural network of some kind. Yeah. What if, is life? Is it just like a level of complexity? Is it just like if uh, if uh, we just have more and more programs, they get smaller and smaller. If we had a complex enough neural network, it would be it, able to think like us. Yeah, and, and if it can do every, if it's so complex, if it's just a series of so many programs, algorithms, whatever, that work together. Uh, and it's indistinguishable with from the things we can do. Is that what life is? Uh, you know, probably. I mean, I, I I certainly believe that we. I think life is a certain complexity. I think you know, there's. I don't think there's anything like about us that isn't like intrinsic in our material being. You know, mm -hmm. like there's some philosophy like oh that there's some like the mind is separate from the body or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe it's probably all embedded in our cells and mm -hmm. in our neurons and that's the way they connect and the the architecture of us makes us. Mm -hmm. And so like, there's no reason to think that you couldn't replicate that architecture in a program or, you know, in a sufficiently mm -hmm. complicated machine. Mm -hmm. uh, because so, that's kind of what we are. We're just very complicated. So machines. maybe these images, this, the machines that created these images, is really rudimentary life. Ye really yeah, rudimentary. Yeah, or like rudimentary, uh, you know... Uh, so this maybe this is what consciousness. Yeah, maybe this is what babies see. Yeah, they've seen dumbbells with arms on them. That's the theory. And the crazy psychedelic landscapes. That's why babies are all <laughs> they're always so laughing and, and weird and, and crying and crying. Yeah, they're all, it's like one big uh, acid trip, <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah uh, babies. Yep. Yeah, so that's what the theory I'm proposing is. This what babies see? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what's interesting about this is that these neural networks are. Uh, Beyond just the weirdness that it do, is that mm -hmm. they, you know, they're making these neural networks so that they can search images and find those o find objects and images, which computers notoriously have a hard time doing it. Um, I think we talked mm -hmm. about in in one of the videos, or at least maybe one, maybe it was in the last uh, topic time. But anyways, we mentioned about how humans are usually are better at like identifying like a dog versus a cat in a picture, mm -hmm. and uh, now it seems like though we are trying to overcome that that. Barrier, and there's no reason that a computer couldn't be good at that. I don't think, as long as we, you know, had it working in the right way, and, and mm -hmm. had it like in a way perceiving the world like we perceive it, or at least perceiving it in a way that it could know when to look for those certain objects. Mm -hmm. And so, in China, they've made yeah. this computer, the Minwa supercomputer, that can sort a million images into a thousand predefined categories with an error rate less than a typical person. So there actually is a computer out there that can like identify dogs and cats and pictures or people in pictures 
better than Interesting. humans. I'd like to know, I'd wonder what that error rate is. How are they measuring an error rate? So, like, okay, so what they had, they had um, Minwa, the supercomputer, um, go through a, a database of pictures, and they wanted to tell the difference between breeds of dogs. So, I mean, that seems pretty uh, crazy to do. I mean, mm -hmm. I can't even tell the difference between some breeds of dogs. No. I don't know. Anyway, right. <laughs> so the error rate was for the, for the computer was 4.58%. And for comparison, the typical human gets around 5%. Hmm. We, we get 5% wrong? Yeah. Like, uh, being able to, like, uh, basically sort the, the images of different breeds of dogs into the right category. So, like, all the retrievers over here and all the you I'm know, just dachshunds. curious. It's interesting how they how would they know that. It seems like something that would be hard to measure. Like, they, they asked a bunch of people to identify these dogs. Mm -hmm. And then and then they... But, so what it, when the computer gets it wrong, they're just, they're just sorting dogs, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they... Okay. Well... So, well, well, we're pretty dumb then, and and computers are slightly less dumb. Well, apparently. yeah, they're, well, they're getting better. Yeah. They're getting better at us than, and, and I mean, eventually, they're probably going to be really good at this, whether they can just be, be able to, uh, you know, those uh, CAPTCHA um, right, things? Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the computers will be able to do that, and that won't even work anymore. Oh, no. Well, I think we're moving towards, like, uh, fingerprints and stuff as far as, like, uh, getting into things. Well, then we're going to start making androids that have fingerprints. Oh, no. And then they'll actually be dreaming... About fingerprints. About, about fingerprints. And electric sheep. Yes. Um, but it is pretty crazy uh, that they can recognize and sort these images. I wonder what the limitation is. Like, is it... Oh, another thing that was interesting, that, that not only is it, like, looking at, you know, regular images, they, like, they would um, sort of manipulate the images, like, change the color of them, mm -hmm. uh, sort of change the aspect ratio of it, stretch them, or, like, squeeze them. And the, the computer would still be able to tell that, you know, like the objects were the same objects, even if they're different colors or sort of distorted in some way. Whoa. Uh, or like they would, they would uh, take the picture, um, print it out, take a picture of the picture from a different angle, you know, or make it weird, you mm -hmm. know, like, like that, or yeah. like there's a, just a picture laying on the ground. Yeah. And it would still be able to identify A picture of a picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Identify okay. what the picture is. With. Wow. Uh, so that's crazy. And computers are computers are crazy. They're gonna be smarter than us mm -hmm. now. They're gonna they're gonna make better paintings than us. They're gonna be making art. Uh, they're gonna be dreaming, and they're gonna be categorizing all our dog breeds. Yeah, and, and I'm then, sure everything based on the comments from the robots playlist, everything that we've said is not controversial at all, and everyone's <laughs> gonna agree with everything we said. So is that is that is that all? Anything you'd like to add? Well, I know it. You just I wonder what the the future will look like is just there's mm -hmm. so much happening in computers and when you have computers doing this stuff that you thought that you know humans only could do uh what other stuff are humans are going to be or computers going to be able to do that we think is within the realm of, of just humans mm -hmm. and what and when, what are humans going to do in the future yeah, well, what, <laughs> uh, when's when's the point where i don't have to do nothing yeah you, enjoy, don't, you don't have to look at pictures you enjoy don't, food yeah and um, and watch tv and internet yeah, I guess that's that's the future. Is that the humans will be useless? The computers will be doing everything for us. That's totally the future. That's just exactly <laughs> what's going to happen. We don't really think that. We're just we're just speculating here, guys. But uh, if you like our our show here, if you like the good stuff, we have a Patreon page. That's a, I'm changing topics okay. now. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, you can go to our Patreon page and uh, support our show. We got uh, we have a like button on all of our videos. Yeah, you can like them and the subscribe button. Uh, and, uh, that's about all I got. Yeah, um, I think that's it. Well, uh, until next time. You may leave Topic Town. <laughs> yes. The metaphorical town populated by citizen topics. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can topics vote in our town? Yeah, they've got the right to vote. As long as they're 18. <laughs> well, the, the town's only, like, like, less than a year old, but... Well, I don't know. The topics are probably some of them are probably uh, oldest, the oldest time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>